Hello and welcome to Unit 1. In this unit, I'll introduce the principle of relativity and uh, define and explain a few key ideas, term, and terms that we'll be using throughout the course. This unit will have a little different uh, flavor or rhythm to it than usual. It'll take me a couple of videos of just introducing terms and definitions uh, before we get to a point where we can start putting our hands on things and doing some math. That won't come till the last couple of videos. All right, so let me start by introducing the principle of relativity. So here's an initial statement of the principle. So it says that the laws of physics are the same in a laboratory moving at a constant velocity as they are in a laboratory at rest. We'll spend uh, most of this unit unpacking and operationalizing that statement. So let me give you an initial image to, um, uh, to think about. So laboratory at rest, laboratory that's moving. So let's say we've got um, Anna, Anastasia, who's at rest, and then Beowulf is in a laboratory, maybe on a train or something, that's moving at a constant velocity with respect to Anna. That's so what the principle says is that the laws of physics should be the same for these two. For example, Newton's second law, Newton's laws of motion, conservation of energy, conservation of momentum, they, those laws should apply if you're on a train or if you're at rest. Um, similarly, if you're, um, the, the laws of electromagnetics, how circuits work, how your phone and your computer works, that all should be the same if you're moving on a train. And when I say moving on a train, I'm picturing here a train that's moving at a constant um, velocity down um, smooth tracks, so not one that's accelerating or stopping or starting. So the laws of physics should be the same for these two. So the principle of relativity is a, a postulate, a starting point for physics. Um, it's uh, an assumption, I guess you could say. But to me, and I think to most physicists, it seems like a very reasonable and, and, and modest and mild assumption. Again, the idea being that just because you're moving at a constant velocity shouldn't mean that the laws of physics suddenly have to be re rewritten just because you got on a train. Okay, so in order to um, operationalize this, make this more concrete, we're going to have to think pretty carefully about how we might take measurements of time and position and how the measurements of uh, somebody at rest might be related to the measurements of somebody moving. So in the next video, we'll start building up some terminology and mechanics so we can do that um, careful measurement and then comparison of measurements for two different folks.